Jeremy Corbyn and Owen Smith. The second face-to-face -face debate before an audience of Labour members in Gateshead. And it was soon clear who this crowd would be cheering for. I believe in people, their good sense, their good humanity and their determination to live in a decent, fair and equal society. Owen Smith's tactics to call Jeremy Corbyn naive, unrealistic, the leader of a protest movement. You know, it's not about the t-shirts we wear and the badges on our lapels. It's about power. It's about power. I think people should wear any t-shirt they want to. It's what they do together that's important. And as Owen Smith accused Jeremy Corbyn of leading Labour into years without power, this happened. All this, but if our message to the rest of the world is that the lights have gone out. Plunged into darkness. <laughs> and are we going to continue? Should we continue in the dark or what? <laughs> it's a return to the dark days of militant and hard left infiltration of Labour that many MPs who oppose Corbyn fear the most. Tom Watson, Labour's deputy leader, says he can prove that left wing activists banned from the Labour Party are involved in the Corbyn campaign. Well, there are a small number of members of Trotskyist organisations that have changed their approach and are, are instructing their members to rejoin the Labour Party. Jill Mountford was expelled from Labour earlier this year for being a supporter of a far-left organisation. I showed her the evidence compiled by Tom Watson, which shows she's been canvassing for Jeremy Corbyn. Witch hunting behaviour, accusations, mud flinging, they need to be thinking about good ideas, policies, politics, that's what they need to be thinking about. And you're remaining defiant, you'll continue campaigning for Jeremy Corbyn. Doing I'm your so work. defiant, you bet I'm going to continue to do my work. That's my job, I'm a socialist, I make propaganda for a better world. A contest to lead one party, but clearly being fought by two figureheads for increasingly divided factions. Tomorrow, the Court of Appeal is due to rule on a legal battle over voting rights in the leadership election. Up to 150,000 supporters, assumed to be mostly pro-Corbyn, could be allowed to have their say. Angus Walker, News at 10.